God's plan, God's plan I hold back, sometimes I won't, yeah. I feel good, sometimes I don't, hey, yeah. I finesse down Western Road, hey, yes Might go down to G-O-D, yeah, wait yeah. I go hard on Southside G, yeah, wait yeah. I make sure that Northside E And still Bad things What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and we're here at the show floor at NAMM 2018, and we're at the Rain Booth, and we're speaking with my man Fred because we have the brand new 72 Serato DJ Mixer and the Rain 12 controllers as well, and he's going to let us know what's new with these bad boys and what they're all about and what they're capable of. So, Fred, let us know what the new system is all about. All right, we could be here forever with this, but I'll try to be as quick as possible. All right. So, first, we'll start with the with the 72. Uh, 72 is based your bat your, your battle mixer, uh, two-channel battle mixer. It uh, works with Serato DJ Pro. Um, it'll be the first official um, supported piece of hardware for Serato DJ Pro when they launch. Um, so one of the first things we want to talk about, we'll talk about the faders. Uh, we have a newly designed fader for this. It's called the Mag 3 fader. And what makes the Mag 3 uh, different from the previous rain faders is the ability to adjust the tension. So on the top of the magnet, you'll see a set screw right there. Uh, on the top of the carry, I'm sorry, you'll see a set screw. And with that set screw, it's attached to a magnet so you can raise and lower the magnet by turning the set screw and you can adjust the tension of the fader. Now all three faders are the same exact fader, so you can adjust the tension on all three and you can interchange all three as well. And oh, one other thing to notice too is the carrier, <clears throat> the carrier material. We've changed the carrier material so that way the tangs won't be snapping off anymore. Um, this material that we're using here is 160 times stronger than the previous uh, plastic that was used on the old carrier material. So you, you won't snap this at all. Um, so basically on the mixer, the front panel is all your basic functions as far as your contour adjustment. You have your reverse switch, your hamster switches. Your deck swap will basically swap <coughs> channels one and two, uh, the up and down faders, headphones, and we also have a, a slot here for a foot switch. So the foot switch you can use to, you can assign it so that way you can trigger your effects and, and yeah. or, do, <coughs> or do MIDI assignments and, and get creative with it. Nice. Next, we'll just move up. We'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top. You have your pad modes right here. So, so these are the genuine Akai MPC style pads. Uh, we just made them a little bit thicker so they, they're more comfortable and, and they won't cave in on you. So you got your basic Q modes right here, your hot cues, all your loops. Um, and we'll scroll down and we'll talk about um, this one right here. So it comes with it comes automatically with pitch and time. So inside every sip, um, every 72, you get an, uh, an activation card with a pitch and time code. Yep. So once you authorize pitch and time, you can use uh, pitch play. So pitch play is a is a is a is a Serato feature. And so you can. So you you get you can get real creative with pitch play. It's very it's becoming very popular and it's uh it's one of the most um, most fun pad modes. Uh, another pad mode we can discuss is uh, your pad effects. So your pad effects you have break, you have um, backspin, gate, and you have echo. So so to um, to initiate a pad mode you, you select the pad mode and then you just you echo out. So you have your time divisions as well. So say for example, if I'm an echo, I have echo selected. This will be a fast, a fast one, and that one's really fast. And then as you go down the line, your time division gets... The trail off. Yes, yep, and this one's the... So that's that's the longest one as well. So another another effect we have. This is a new this is a a, a new effect, and um, this one is called fader effects. So what this one does is it'll mimic um, like your fader movement. So you can go like a one click, two click, three click, four click. Uh, and then you have various ones in the bottom. So what what that what that is. Um, you know, it allows you to get creative. So if you have like a scratch sound loaded up, you can kind of, you can kind of hit, hit, hit. If you want to hold the mic, I'll show you real quick. You can hit, hit one of the fader effects. So you can kind of, you can kind of get creative with the, you can get creative with the, with the fader effects. Now the fader effects, and the, um, and the pad effects are hardware-based effects, so they'll work whether you have uh, Serato connected or you're just on analog vinyl, uh, standard vinyl. So, so those 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 two effects will, those two pad modes will always be on the mixer no matter what. Um, and another pad mode I want to talk about is this is transport mode. So if you ever get to a party uh, or a club 
Oh, they don't have turntables. Oh, damn. Oh, you, don't, you forgot your needles at home. You forgot your records at home. Your slip mats, whatever. This will allow you to. You can DJ. You can DJ the whole party basically off of transport mode. So you can, you know, you can start and stop the track right here. That's your cue, as as similar to they are on CD players. This is your um, key lock on and off, and that will disable sync. <clears throat> This is your pitch bend up and down, and this will actually move the pitch up and down. And um, another good thing with transport mode that you can use as well, you know, sometimes you have those little family parties, you just want to hook up something in your backyard, your mixer, speaker, laptop, you don't want to bring everything out, just, you know, just, just rock out, you know. So it's good for emergency situations or small barbecues or get-togethers or very small parties, you know, baby showers, whatever, where you don't really got to go in. So uh, transport mode you don't have is... You to buy another controller for that. You yeah, you got, you got it built in on the mixer for you, so that's another, another pad mode that, that we that we added as well uh, right here are your effects paddles so this is how you would trigger your effects so now with the effects on the 72 we added two flex effects engines on the previous frame mixes you only had one so say for example if you wanted echo you basically had echo for both for both decks so on this one right here you you have uh, you have uh, dual flex effects engine. So say for example if I wanted echo on this on this on deck one and then I wanted to change it and, and, and get something else on deck two you can you can have two separate effects nice. you know so you and two different banks yeah two different effects wow. banks so the amber the, the the top three amber are your serato effects the bottom are your uh internal effects nice. so your internal effects will always remain on the mixer uh, whether or not serato is connected um <clears throat> You can adjust certain parameters for your effects. Uh, you can adjust your beats, your time division. Uh, you can double tap. You go into a deep dive mode, which, uh, say, for example, on your echo, you can adjust your high pass cutoff, your depth, and your feedback, wow. things like that. So back to the paddles. Um, this is how you would, you would enable your effects. So up is latching, down is non-latching. If you wanted to reverse the, the uh, paddle, you can flip it 180 degrees, and you can actually have it latching in the down position. Some people like to say, hey, I like it to latch in the down position, then I can just pull down on my fader. It's one, one clean motion. You just remove the two screws here, pop out the plate, and then you can swap the, um, the paddles around. And these are die-cast aluminum paddles. They're not, they're not plastic, so they're, 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 they feel great. They're, they're sturdy, and they, and they got a nice, nice feel to them. Nice, they don't feel cheap. Um, so up here you have your, this is your, 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 touch, your touch display. Um, so right now we're in effects view. Your second view uh, you have is library mode. So in library mode, you got two different views. You have your expanded view, which will show you um, all of your song information as far as your key, time, artist, BPM, uh, song title. And then if you wanted to go into something more simple, uh, you tap that, and that's a uh, simple view. Just song title and BPM. Sometimes you don't want to have all that clutter on the screen. You want to just keep it simple, one, two. You can bang them out uh, and move on over. Uh, next, you have your waveform view. Your waveform view is basically, it gives you, uh, it's the moving waveforms, you have the overview on the side, <clears throat> sync on and off on the bottom, you have your BPM on the bottom as well, <clears throat> excuse me, key lock, you can disable that on and off, and you have your, have your time information. Uh, another mode um, that we can discuss also is you have like a touch effects, like a chaos pad style effect. Oh, yeah. So what you can do with the chaos, uh, with the chaos style pad effect is you would just basically, you know, you would you would select which one you want, and then you can kind of just scroll through it and and um, and you can dive into that. Uh, another set, another function for the screen is you can adjust certain parameters for your mixer. So you go into your mixer settings screen. Now uh, we can there's a, a few different settings we can go over, but the the, the one I will focus on right now is the uh, one a lot of the DJs are going to really Cross love. Fader cut in. Your cut in adjustment. <laughs> so real quick, you can you can you literally just position the fader where you want it. Well, if you want it set to one, you just hit set. You move on over to the next one, and you'll notice you'll notice it's it's set once you see a blue. Once you see the blue, like um, so, I'll, I'll set a big cut in just so you guys can get it. You can see where it's set to. So that that little blue area is the, is the dead is the dead zone right there. So if you want to tighten up that dead space, just put the fader where you want it, anything but zero, and then uh, hit set, and then you can see the dead space is shrunk to like almost nothing. So you, you, and you can do that on your up faders as well. So you can adjust the cut in for your cross fader and your up faders. As far as your channel section goes, you got your standard EQ, your gain, treble, uh, mid, low, and your filter. This uses the same audio engine, audio circuitry as the MP2015. The Rain MP2015 is one of the best sounding mixers, high quality uh, that, that, that Rain has ever produced. So this uses the same audio engine uh, as well. Uh, you got two. You got two mic inputs. The XLR combo jacks on the backs. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the back, and the mic line switchable. Uh, you got your mic, mic one over here, 
and your mic two is over here in the front. Uh, you got your session in, uh, sampler, and then uh, you can have your, a filter for the sampler, and also you can you can uh, route your effects to the sampler as well. All right, so we'll move on over to the Rain 12. Okay, so the idea behind the 12 was basically to eliminate all the problems that you have with a traditional turntable. Whether you you know you get a bad um, bad set of RCA wires, you break a needle, you have a bad tone arm, things skipping all over the place, uh, or you're on a loud sound system, and then the bass, the feedback is just so much you got to keep turning down the bass, and it makes it really makes your show sound like crap. So. The, the 12 will eliminate all of that. Um, there's, no, there's no tone arm and there's no audio that passes through this. This is strictly a MIDI controller. So what it will do is it, it keeps everything accurate. You can bang on it, you can do all kinds of things while the track is playing and it still, it still keeps the, the track uh, playing in sequence. So real quick, uh, this right here is your, is, your, is your touch strip. So this is the needle search. So the, this has two different functions. So the primary function is your, is your needle search mode. So that basically will give you the, um, the indication of where you are on the track. So you're at the beginning of the track, you're at the middle of the track, and then you scroll down here, you get to the end of the track. So that gives you a visual, a visual representation of where you are on the track. Another function, uh, you hit this button right here, and now you can see your hot cues. And you can see the hot cues, are, they pretty much match up to whatever you have set in Serato. Like um, on, the, on the 72, you can see the colors correspond. So you can trigger your hot cues as well. If you want to delete a hot cue, you just hold the button, and then you can delete a hot cue as well. So you, you, can, you can add a hot cue just by pressing, or you can delete a hot cue whoops, uh, by holding that down and, and pressing the button right here. Um, another um, <clears throat> another function, these, these are your deck select buttons. So you can use up to four Rain 12s on one setup. So say for example, if you have a four channel mixer, like, a, like an MP2015 with the Serato Club Kit, you can use four 12s. So since this is only a two channel controller, um, decks three and four are not available. Um, it'll, um, the mixer will, I'm, I'm sorry, since this is a two channel mixer, um, Serato will automatically detect that, hey, you're plugged into a two-channel mixer, decks three and four turn off because uh, they're not available for a two-channel mixer, and then you have access to choose decks one and deck two. Uh, you have a traditional pitch slider right here, real smooth, with a center detent. This is your pitch range, uh, eight, 16, and 50, uh, eight, 16, and 50, so you can go, you can get real low with it. It sounds really, really good. Uh, 33, 45, so if you want to do those tone tricks, you can just 35, 45, 33, 45, and, and, and vice versa, you can do those, those tone tricks. Uh, you have your on and off, your on and off switch, so if you want to spin the platter back and do any of that, you will not lose the MIDI data from the platter. So you can, you can kind of, you know, do all those wind downs, yeah, you can motor off, spin back, and, and do all that crazy stuff. Now when you put the motor on, now you'll notice that when the track gets to the end, you're going to see the, the start turn red. That gives you an indication, that, hey, your track's going to end in about 15 seconds, uh, you may want to change it. So that's just another thing we added in there, just to kind of get your attention. Um, so it'll turn red when you're at the end of the track. If you're just playing in the track, uh, if we spin it, if we put it back to the beginning, it, it, it's green. On the rear panel right here, you have your, your torque settings for the motor. Uh, you have your high and low. On the low setting, it resembles a Technic 1200. On the high setting, you get a little bit more torque. Uh, this is your USB connection to the, uh, to the mixer or your USB hub. And your power switch for the entire unit is right here and your standard IEC power cable. So how much is this stuff going to be when it hits the market? Uh, the 12 is going to be $799 and the 72 is going to be $1899. Nice, and they both come out at mid-March release date? Coming out in March. Nice. So we're here once again, NAM 2018. We're at the Rain booth, and we're here with the best gear at the show right now, the Rain 12 turntable, and we have the 72 mixer.